Hey guys, so it's been about two weeks since I did my last video. I picked up a few uh, silver pieces since then, and a decent amount of gold for me at least. First thing, I went down to my local coin shop and searched through the bin they have down there. It's uh, everything's over th is three dollars over spot, so they have some good things in there. So I picked up one of these 2014 Eagles and a 2015 Eagle. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get at least one eagle from each of the years from 1986 to 2016. I think I've got about eight of the years done so far, so I'm slowly working towards it. They also had one of these Johnson & Matthew one ounce bars in there. So I figured $3 over a spot, it's not bad. I don't have anything Johnson & Matthew, so I'll pick this thing up. Next thing I'm trying to work on is the Kookaburra set. So I haven't picked up any of these before this. So I went on eBay and uh, picked up one of these 2014s. And I really like these coins. These things are really nice, nice and shiny. You know, they have like a proof like finish to them. Picked up four of these 2015 Kookaburras. And this one seller, he had like eight or nine of them going. In the middle of the day, the auctions were ending. I tried bid on all of them. I was hoping to win them all, but I got four of the eight. So I was happy with that. I got them for a really good price. Next, I picked up five of these 2016 Kookaburras. I think out of the three different years I picked up, the 2015 is definitely my favorite. So I'm over to the gold. So I haven't had, I didn't have any bars of gold. All the gold I picked up so far have been uh, just coins, little tenth ounce coins. I have one one gram panda. So I picked up three of these IGR one gram bars. And again, I was on eBay searching around. I got these, each of them for just under four dollars over spot at the time. So I was very happy about that. You know, and they come in these cool little cases. They're already protected. I think I might pick up more of these if I can get them for a good price. Next, I picked up one of these. Let's see if I can get it to focus. 1982 Canadian Mabels, one tenth ounce. It's in really good condition for a coin that's uh, almost 25 years old. I was very happy when I got this in. I really do like these maples. And I think I'm going to try to pick up some more in the future. So I picked up two of the Australian one tenth ounce kangaroos. I picked up right here is a 2015. These things are teeny. Come on. There it is. Really, really nice coins. I mean, I haven't had a gold piece yet that I haven't fell in love with, so. Really trying to pick up a little more gold than silver right now. I'm trying to balance my stack out. I think for every 75, 80 ounces of silver, I'm gonna try to pick up an ounce of gold. And here is the 2016. So I got a few more pickups coming in over the next week or so. Uh, I got some more gold pieces coming in. Got some more silver. I got I think I have a five ounce bar. But once I get that in, I'll be just over a hundred ounces of silver. 
And with the gold pieces coming in, I will be close to an ounce and a half of gold. So I'm very happy about that. I think it's been about six weeks since I started collecting slash stacking. So, I mean, I'm well above what I thought I'd be at this time. So stuff can get addicting, but it's fun. So until next time, see you guys later.